Good evening, Julio Cesar, Carlos Ernesto. Good evening, welcome. We are going to get started in four minutes, okay? Thank sí. you for being here. Great to have you here. Good evening, everyone. It's glad to have you here. Okay. We are going to be starting. Good evening. In a couple of uh, seconds. Miss Letty, welcome. Nice to have you here. Carlos again. Julio Cesar. And Flor Morena. Okay. Welcome back, Flor Morena. So, class, tell me today is Friday. How was your Friday at work? Was it nice? More or less? or, you know, very busy. How nice. was? Nice. Okay, great. And Julio, how was your day at work? Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you have a good day at work? Yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. I'm glad for you. And you, Carlos, how uh -huh. was your day at work? Um, uh, very busy teacher, very busy with a lot of a lot of tasks. Okay. Uh, but tomorrow you don't work. Yes, yes, tomorrow I, I you relax. Work. And no. you you go to work in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good evening, Miguel Angel, Freddy, Celiceo. 
And here we go, okay? Let's get started because time flies and remember that we always need more time. So class, it is so glad that you are here this uh, Friday evening. And I'm going to share my PPT with you as every single day, okay? So today is March 17th, 2023. And here we have the agenda for our video conference number eight. Greetings as every day. We're going to have a feedback. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives. And today we're going to practice formulating yes, no questions, but in the past tense. Remember that we have been working with yes, no questions in simple present tense with the modal auxiliary do, does. Today we're going to do it, but in simple past. And in the preparation task, you will have to write a five line paragraph uh, structure by five sentences about the previous business event okay, that you have attended. And the task is that you will generate content. After that, you are going to share your experience about business events. I expect that we're going to finish working at pages 23 and 24, okay? And um, as I told you, I need someone to help me reading the objectives, okay? Mm -hmm. One volunteer, please. Only one who's going to help me reading, okay. Isabel. Um, okay, Isabel, thank you so much. Eh, ¿Cuál es el leyendo, perdón? <laughs> ah, you have to begin reading the objectives, the specific and the class objective. Okay. Uh, a specific objective. Will be I able to describe, describe past networking experience uh, in business and business events by using the simple past and yes or no question. Class objective. The class will be able to describe past networking experience in business using the simply pass and yes, no question. Okay, thank you so much. This is what I was telling you in the agenda, okay? So there is a, a correlation with uh, between the agenda and the slide of the objectives. And then here we go, listen, Regarding to homeworks and evaluations, I'm going to stop sharing because there are some of you welcome. Marvin, Maria Isabel, and Catherine. Okay, listen, I'm going to tell you that I've been checking and there are people who are owing me the activities. They have zero in the, in the homeworks for week number one. Let me see if, if one of you is here. Okay, Julio Cesar, thank you. Wow, Julio Cesar has uh, finished unit one, unit two, and unit three. In unit four, he has 36%. Hazel has developed unit one, unit two, unit three. And it's about to finish unit four. She has 96% in unit um, four. But there are some others who have done nothing. Let me see. Let me teacher. Here. Okay, hold it. Because I'm checking the ones who didn't do a thing and they are going to get in trouble for the diploma at the end. Uh, let me see. Carlos, you have done with uh, unit one and unit two. Congratulations, you have 100% in unit one and unit two. The same for Letty, she has uh, okay. worked unit one and unit two, uh, 100%, okay, very well. Marvin, you have finished unit one with 100% and you have started working with the 20% of uh, the unit number two, okay? Miguel Angel, he has finished unit one and unit two, excellent. Natalie, are you here, Natalia? Let me see. No, Natalia is not here, okay? 
but let's continue. Rudy needs to finish unit one and unit two, but he has gone over units two with the 60%. And let's see, who else? Virginia, are you here? Ah, Virginia is going to be absent, but she's over with unit number one and she has done the 80% of unit number two. And Wilbur, he has finished unit one and unit two, okay? So say that, continue working in the platform, okay? Because remember that according to the requirements, it is necessary to get to obtain the 80% as an average in homeworks and evaluations. Remember class that uh, you are going to submit in this week, the midterm exam, okay? You need to complete that midterm exam too. And here, okay, the requirements, your full name, when you get connected to the platform, in the case that you are a listener, you add the word listener, oyente in Spanish, after your name. Camera on during all the sessions. So I need you to activate your cameras and minimize the sound, okay, as much as possible. And active participation from all of you. Let's remember that the attendance is expected for you on your side to be 100%. And you need to be connected 120 minutes because that is the period for the class, okay? The time of the class. And also the attendance is taken twice at about 8.20 and at about 9.40. And remember that it is going to be valid uh, your attendance when in the recording is listened to your voice said presente, present here, I am here, okay? And also the one-on-one -on -one session at the end of the class are available for one of you. Each of you will be assigned 10 minutes at the end of the class, okay? To clarify doubts or to practice uh, reading or speaking. And permissions are not available on the teacher's side or on the administration because we don't have the authorization for that. And also again, the bottom in mute is requested so we can listen to one another when we are talking. The camera on, the chats are available via Zoom and via uh, WhatsApp. The breakout rooms also are able for you, available so mm -hmm. you can work on them. The bottom to ask for help in the breakout rooms is also available and respect above all, yes? Okay, if you don't have any question, here in week number two, today is 17th. By March 21st, everybody needs to have a completed section one, section two, and the midterm test, okay, in the learning platform. So congratulations for the ones who already finished the homeworks. Some of you are only pendant with the midterm test and others are doing a good job because they have begun working in the platform. I cordially invite you to finish those activities in the learning platform, okay? And for the ones who are owing me, week number one, you are still on time, okay? So you don't feel that everything is at once. And here, we are going to start with a speaking time for our class today. But, okay, Hetzel, good evening. Rafael, good evening. Natalia, I need you to work in the platform. Welcome. Mm, Miguel evening. Angel, good evening. Okay. Wilbur, good evening. Welcome. Okay, and I have greeted the others, I think. Okay. So, uh, Flor Morena, I need you to work in the platform too. But right now, class, we're going to have a feedback on what we did yesterday. Okay. And here we go. If you remember yesterday, we were practicing with this conversation. Yes or no? Yes. 
Do you remember? Okay, so yes, I need two volunteers and actually not two volunteers, but four volunteers because we have Miss State, Mr. Young, uh, Mario and Leo. Yes, so four participants, no matter if they are boys or girls. Me. Okay, you're going to be Mr. Young. Me, Carlos. teacher. Yeah, Carlos, you are Mr. Young. Okay. Okay, I need a okay. girl. Okay, Isabel, you're Miss State. I need another boy. Rafael, are you available? Rafa. Rafael. Are Rafa. you there? Are you here? Me, teacher. Se que escribió en el, en el chat. Oh. Iba a ser Sorry, como teacher, yet, because I... Oh, really? Oh, I so got to the house. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. So sorry, okay. Okay, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Miguel, are you available? Yes, yes Miguel. Okay, you're going to read Mario. And I need someone else, Julio Cesar. Me, yeah, teacher. Okay, you are going to be Leo. Okay. You read Leo. To the count of three, you begin group. Isabel, okay. get ready because you are Miss State. Okay, one, two, three, let's begin. Hello, good morning. I'm the Mr. John. No se escuchó. Okay, go ahead. I listen to you, but if you speak a little bit louder, si habla okay. un poquito más fuerte, lo oiremos mejor. Okay, thank you. Hello, good morning. I think that you need to get closer to your microphone, Miss. Okay. We listen to you, but. Uh... Okay. Inténtelo. Ahora me escuchan? Sí. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. John. Yes, I am. I am Mr. Phil. We don't listen to you, Maria Isabel. Okay, I think that you have problems with your, uh, okay, with your audio, with your headphone. Hi, I can your... be a mistake. Okay, please, let's begin. You you start, Miss. You are mistake. Okay. Hello. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm mistake. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He he's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. Um, I'm charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, um, Mr. Yon. What does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is in charge of purchases. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You did a great job. Yeah. And remember that we say uh, Mr. John, Miss, uh, Miss State, and I'm the trainer. What do you do? What does the girl over there do? If you notice here, what does the girl over there do? Is a question, information question in simple present tense. What does, what do you do? Because we are asking for a specific information, a kind of explanation, yes? That is why it is not a yes, no question. So we were working on this. Uh, conversation, you created your conversation, and you were answering this these uh, questions too, okay? Do you remember at the beginning? Later, 
we went through uh, the use of personal with plural verbs and staff that can be followed by singular or plural verbs, yeah? And you were working with the completion of these questions and you answered these questions considering the information in the conversation, okay? Also, we were working on how to use information questions in simple present tense. Some of them are, what do you do? What department do you supervise? What branch does she manage? Where does your company manufacture? What unit do you oversee? What do you, who, who do you report to? Yeah, we completed this grammar uh, box and also you built questions for these answers. In the case of number two, I supervise the maintenance department, supervise. So the question is, what department do you supervise? Do you remember? And also you went over questions two, three, four, five, and six. And here was your presentation, right? Of the conversation that you created considering this one. And I didn't ask you to record it because your performance was uh, recorded in the class. And now we're going to go over what we have to do today, okay? So we're going to answer these questions in the breakout rooms. And I'm going to share with you the, the questions, yeah? Via WhatsApp so you can interact. These are the three questions for the speaking time right now. What is networking? Before pandemic, I think that some people might be, um, how can I say, um, cannot be related to these words, but now during and after the pandemic, we know what networking is. Are you good at networking in business event? Do you often share business cards when you uh, network? When you network, these are the three questions that you are going to be asking and answering in the breakout rooms, okay? According to your experience at work. Is that okay? Is it clear, class, what you are going to be doing? Yes? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to share as I told you, okay? I'm going to share with you. Here we go. Okay. There you are. And now I'm going to, before you go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to call your names in order to take your first attendance. Let's see. Uh, Andrea Lisbeth. Absent. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos, the microphone. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. Yeah, thank you, Carlos. Elizabeth Present. Johanna. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth Johanna. Evelyn. Present. Oh, okay, thank you, Miss Evelyn. Flor Morena. Present. Okay. Fredis. Freddy Eliseo. Freddy Eliseo, I need you to work in the platform, okay? Hatesel. Hatesel. Okay, great. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine. Present. Thank you. You are a listener today. Maria Isabel. Present. Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Marvin. <coughs> Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Marvin Osvaldo Herrera. Oh, Virginia, what happened? You're here. <laughs> I thought that you were in the in the party. Virginia is in the fiesta. Yo no fui. Ah, you didn't go. You work at the same company. Sí, en la misma. 
uh, and why didn't you go to the to the party? Um, what happened? No. no. no please, you know. <laughs> Your wife didn't didn't give you permission. So sorry for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marvin, where are you? Melchizedek, Matthew, Mateo, absent. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Natalie, Natalia. Natalia, are you here? Okay, Rafael, as a listener today. Rudy? Present. Okay, thank you for being here. Virginia, she's at the party, <laughs> the company's party. Alexia is absent. And Wilbur? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, class, now we're going to, I need everybody to be speaking, okay? In the breakout rooms, you ask and answer those three questions, okay? Here we go, you have five minutes to do it. Only the three questions, nothing else, okay? Only the three questions. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Join your groups, please. I have sent you the invitation. Go to your groups. Rafa, when possible, go to group number two. Marvin, Marvin, go to group number one. And Natalie, your group is, yeah, but you have two. Otherwise, you're not going to get the minutes, Marvin. Marvin, si usted se queda acá en el salón de uso, en el salón que estamos, ¿verdad? Usted no va a tener los minutos que vamos a estar en los breakout rooms de asistencia porque la plataforma no se los va a contar, porque la plataforma me dice que usted no se ha unido. Ok, okay Rafa, when possible, please join. Vamos a hacer las, las preguntas, vamos a responder. Ajá. Only speaking, only speaking, only speaking, the answers to those three questions, okay? Yes. Only speaking, questions and answers. Here you are, Rudy, Alexander, Julio, and Evelyn. The three of you asking and answering, okay? Only five minutes for the activity. Are you there? Present. Uh, okay. How are you? <laughs> okay, listen, we have here Marvin, and he is a listener. Uh, so you may ask and answer the questions to Maria Isabel, Isabel ask Elizabeth Johanna, and Elizabeth Johanna ask the questions to Carlos, probably, okay? So everybody have participation, yeah? Only the three okay. questions, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Así, así le comprendo. Así le comprendí. Uh -huh. Only speaking, only speaking, okay? Only the three questions. Asking and answering, yeah? Okay. Okay. Uh, here, you have two listeners. Okay. Sí, only two listeners. Oh, okay, only both of you. Okay, easier for you, but let me see. Natalia, I'm going to join Natalia to this group. Maybe she's not a listener. Teacher, one question. Yes, sir. Uh, in Spanish, se refiere... Eh, a la manera de socializar de uno en la empresa liter o, o es literal la, 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 networking. la pregunta networking. networking networking creación de redes redes de, de, de contactos laborales ajá verdad que sí no se refiere a, a, a algo más tecnológico no no es así verdad no because you create networkings uh... Uh, trabajo eh, eh, 
sus redes, pero de conocidos laborales. Ajá. Hacer contactos, ¿sí? Sí, correcto. Ajá. Pero más que todo digital. Es como socializar, ¿verdad? Ya, sí. ya. Uh -huh. Ajá. Online, ¿ya? Online, correcto. Okay. Uh -huh. That's it. En sí. mi caso, solo tengo un compañero de trabajo y el jefe, solo somos tres. No, pero es que eso no tiene nada que ver, sino uh -huh. que es usted como empleada de la empresa debe con su, tener con sus los redes. Contactos. Así es, sus contactos. Puede ser con customers o con providers, con Ajá. clientes o con proveedores, ¿sí? Que estén asociados Ajá. al trabajo. No es que sean amigos suyos, pues, o compañeros suyos, Ajá. sino que son contactos que se hacen, ¿sí? A, a esa okay. creación se, se refiere. Ya, yeah. yeah. that's it. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay, bye. El, ejem el ejemplo más que se me ocurre es como, por ejemplo, la gente que vende los test reductores, que generan su propia red de, de contactos a través de redes sociales, este, WhatsApp. Entonces, networking es como eso, como las personas que, profesionales independientes que trabajan por cuenta propia. Por ejemplo, um, un corredor de seguros también puede hacerlo de esa manera. Y lo hace solo este, por, para aumentar su red de contactos. En mi medio, un, un networking sería un, un vendedor de créditos outsourcing por cuenta propia. Es decir, que no lo ha contratado Global Outsourcing o, o, o otro outsourcing, sino que lo hace por cuenta propia, directamente con las empresas. And also nowadays, via LinkedIn, okay, you get your, your okay. you create your network. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is contacts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So do you have? That is the question, okay? Okay. Remember that networking, networking is networking is related to business, not to socialize, like to make friends. Yeah. No, it is related just for business. Okay. O sea que podríamos decir que es una práctica desarrollada para profesionales independientes. Not necessarily, because it can be related to your uh, to your company. Yeah. Because maybe you have a net and a network with people from your company, but they are not in your branch. They are in different branches. For example, if your if your company, which is a, an international company, you may have your networking in from with people from different countries, not only from El Salvador. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or when, I with, or when I have contact with other departments, like in my case, products, marketing. Yeah, but you have a specific people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, yeah. Okay. Okay. Networking. Yes, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Ah, no, María Isabel. Dígame. What is networking? Uh, networking is the charge of information and ideas. Okay. Trabajo Are... en red sería así por separado, networking, uh -huh. sí. trabajo en red. Sí. Bueno, uh, eso es lo que yo pienso. Okay, that is why it is a brainstorming. Later we're going to clarify in the main session room, yeah? Because okay. maybe you have it, but you don't know how to call it. You don't know the name for that activity that you already practice. As I told you before the pandemic, you were like reluctant to that, okay? You neglected to be in that kind of situation. But during and after pandemic, uh, we are, it is a must, okay? To have your networking. Okay, continue. I'm sorry for the interruption. No problem, Por finish. Porque teníamos esa duda, o sea, al final si, si el networking, bueno, por lo menos yo, el networking era como el, el hecho de, de, 
una traducción en sí no tiene. <risa> no. Uh -huh, because it, it is an action. So okay. we don't exchange. transfer the term because if you uh, exchange of information, word word, if you translate word by word, the meaning is going to be different. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. But but networking is, is like uh, then the pandemic uh, grow up. Yeah, it grew up. It's it's spread over all over the world, yeah? Okay. okay. Very, very good teacher. Okay. Yo también. Okay. Finished. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's get back and we're going to discuss, okay? Thank you. Okay. Only five minutes. That was a brainstorming about the topic. Tuvia de ideas sobre el tema, ¿ya? Okay. How much you knew about the topic. Okay, everybody's here. Okay, class, it was a brainstorming just to, uh, you know, to share how much you know about the topic. So here we have these three questions. What is networking? You know that net, the meaning, you are familiar to that uh, word because you have your social networks, yeah? or uh, social media, like uh, you have the different uh, networks, such as uh, the old one is Facebook, I think. You have uh, Instagram, another one. You know more than me. Okay, another networking, another net that TikTok. you do. Uh -huh, the most popular right now, yeah. With yeah, the of, of users, yes. Only yeah. fun, and only fun. Okay, but those are uh, uh, social networks, yeah. But this is about work, uh, networking. What is networking? It is your, it is your, um, your, the contacts that you have, your virtual contacts, but associated to your work. Okay. And then, are you good at networking in business events? Do you often share business cards when you network? To begin with, do you use uh, personal business cards? Hello, do you or no, you don't? I don't. Okay, you don't. I don't. Some years ago, uh, when the, you know, the email and the, all the nets were not so popular like nowadays people used to have, it was a must to have a, a business card in which we have the logo of the company, your name, your contact information and the position that you have in the company, yeah? In other words, it was your business contact information, yeah? But now we're going to go over 
Okay, the next activity. And here we go. Let's see. We're going to discuss this later on because right now, here I need you to go at page 23. You are going to listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a partner. After that, you are going to choose the answers to the questions and compare with the partner. But here we have um, an important detail. Use yes, did, or no, didn't as a short answer to questions about the past. Notice that we have did. I'm going to give you an explanation. It is a refresh because you know this. Okay. Remember class that we have been working with uh, questions in simple present tense and we use a modal auxiliary. Yes, if you remember class, we use the modal auxiliary do for the following uh, subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, we. Sorry. No, teacher. I, Come on. I, you, we. We, they. No, you, they. Okay, I was thinking about that. Because two times, you in singular and you in plural. Yes? Okay. And then we have das. Das. And then here, he, she, she, she it. Yes? It. And remember that we always use the pronoun I in capital letter. If you write it in a small letter, it is incorrect. So class, the verb is do, but when we use it for he, she, it, we make a change because it ends in O, we add the letters E, S. We use these modal auxiliaries in order to ask questions in simple present tense, but in past tense, we don't use this modal auxiliary. We use did. And there is one thing easy for you, class. You know why? Because for simple past tense, using did in questions or in negative, there is no special person. We use did for all the person, uh, personal or subject pronouns. We use did with I, okay, we, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, okay? There is no special person. So we use did with all the subject pronouns. Do you notice that? It is easy because if I say, did you go to the movies? Yes, I did. Did he go to the movies? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did she go to the movies? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. So the structure is, for example, did you get a good grade? Notice that in order to formulate questions in simple, simple questions, okay? In past tense, first we write did. Later, we write you, the subject pronoun. The verb must be in the base form in present tense. Why? Because what gives you the idea of the past tense of the sentence is the modal auxiliary. That is did. It is not do or does. No, it is did. Did is used with all the subject pronouns. Okay. And then if we change this sentence into third person singular, I ask you, did he get a good grade? Mm -hmm. And then the answer is, yes, he did or no, he didn't. In short answers, we say, yes, he did. In negative, no, he didn't, okay? But what happens if the answer is full, long answer? In affirmative, you say, yes, he got a good grade. And in negative, no, he didn't get a good grade. 
I want you to pay close attention to this class. Notice in the affirmative answer, he got in the answer in the sentence. Full answer in affirmative. We don't use modal auxiliary. That is why you need to use the verb in past tense. He got a good grade, yeah? But in negative, we use the modal auxiliary in negative, didn't. That is why the verb must be in present tense because what gives you the idea that the sentence is in past tense is didn't. And the translation is in past tense. No, he didn't get a good grade. No, él no sacó buena nota, no tuvo buena nota, yeah? But in affirmative, he got a good grade. Él obtuvo buena nota, yeah? But we don't use in affirmative in long answer the uh, modal auxiliary did. So that is why we need to write the verb. We use the verb in past tense, okay? But that is the general introduction. Right now, we're going to practice. And we're going to practice in context. How come? With the conversation. And here, look at this. This is what I was telling you class, okay, before. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. This is the short answer. I learned a lot. This is the full answer. I, first person singular, learned the verb in past tense because in this part, if you notice class over here, okay, there is no modal auxiliary because that is another sentence. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. A small talk, smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, so here you have the explanation. Did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. So this is the networking. You make contacts, okay? You expand your contacts, but they are related to work, not, not to socialize. No, it is about work, yeah? Okay, so I need two participants in order to see this conversation. One is going to be Luis and the other one is going to impersonate Janet. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos, you are Luis and uh, Evelyn, I think. You are Janet. Yes. yes. Okay, let's begin. Carlos. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Uh, tell me more. I update my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I change, change business cards with 10 people. Awesome. 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 Okay. okay. So listen, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned because it is a regular verb ending in D. Learned. Forget about the E. We say learned. A lot. Tell me more. I updated, updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. This A sounds like, oh, awesome. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Now look at this. I, I updated, actualicé my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. A small talk, a smart talk, 
it means that your conversations with the contacts were more intelligent, that not to be talking, uh, having just, hello, how are you? What's your name? Ah, uh, where do you work? And that's it. Okay, see, you know, you went deeper. Okay, and you use your intelligence and you exchange your contacts. So that is networking. Class, you are going to practice this conversation as it is, okay? They don't mention names. So there is no problem if you are boys or girls. And when you, you exchange and you choose the answer to come. Uh, to complete these questions. You have four questions, okay? One, two, three, and four, yeah? But before we go to the breakout rooms, I need two more participants in order to practice this conversation. Other two participants? I'm going Me to too. Okay, okay. Rudy and? Because Hazel. I don't... Okay, Hazel. Rudy, you begin. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill and learned to move from a small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And imagine that these two participants are in the same team. They switch roles. And when everybody is read in the groups, you go over exercise number three, okay? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. We are working at page 23. So I'm going to ask you to go to the breakout rooms, okay? Go to your groups, please. And Rafael, okay. I'm going to send you the invitation, Rafa, so you can join the one group. Okay, go to your groups. Natalie. Okay, Rafa, your group is number two, okay? Update, update my networking skill. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great, so did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. Um, in, in this case, I, I, I will be Janet and you, Luis. You are Luis. Okay. Uh, did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. Hola de un seminario. Este, entonces, vamos a a decir el diálogo y después contestamos las preguntas. Sí. Sí. Ok, eh, Evelyn, si quiere comience conmigo. Mm, sí, está bien. Vaya. ¿Usted sería Luis? Mm, sí. Bueno. Ok, uh, did, you en, do, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. I learned to move from small to a small talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. Julio, repeat, Julio Cesar, repeat after me. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Great. 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 Okay. 
Teacher, ¿me puede repetir la, la palabra update? No sé si lo pronuncié bien. Ok, in present tense is update. Past tense updated, updated, updated. Updated. Ya. Yeah. Así, ah, ok. Ok. okay. Now I think that Rudy is going to practice with one of you, yes? And remember that you have to switch roles, ¿ok? Tienen que intercambiar yeah. roles. Ok, see you. See you. Uh, tell, tell me more. I observe my networking skill. I learned to move for a small to a smart talk. Great, great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, ahora ustedes... Okay, okay hold it. Enjoy, learned, Learn. updated, 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 learned, learned, move from small to smart talk, move for small, no, for no, from, 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 como R en medio, from, yeah, you see it, aquí está la R, uh -huh. from, Tal cual. Yeah, from, from small, small to, to smart talk. talk. A, a, yes, because L talk. is is not pronounced. You don't pronounce L. Talk, okay. like TikTok, talk. okay? Talk. A smart talk. A smart talk. Great. Great. So, so did you did make you new make contacts? New yes, I did. I exchanged. I exchanged. Change. Business cards. X exchange. Uh huh. Exchange. Change the business cards. Yes, I exchange business cards with ten people. Awesome, awesome. It, this letter A is like between A and O. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Como una A y una U. Awesome. Uh huh. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. 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 Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, now switch roles. Okay. Uh, uh, let it commence. Did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. Uh, De lo que vimos? Eh, Flor, ¿cuál sería para usted la respuesta de la 1? Hello, good evening. Hi. Hi. Uh, listen, you have a new participant. Mateo, hey. just joined. So uh, I would like you to, to tell him about the conversation. So maybe one of you can uh, practice the conversation with him. Okay? Okay. 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 Mateo, your partners are Miguel hola, Angel. Hola. Flor Morena ah. and Hazel, okay? Matthew. Okay. Uh, practiquemos si gusta, sea usted read, página 23. Ahí está. Matthew. Hola. ¿Es usted Luis? Para que practiquemos. Sí, sí, está bien. Vaya, dele. Did you enjoy the se seminar? Algo así, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Yes, I, yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Right. So, so did you did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with ten people. 
a with some. Awesome. Awesome, okay. Now awesome. switch okay. roles, switch roles. Vamos, Matthew. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned it a lot. Tell me more. I hope that my networking skill learning to move from the small to the small tall. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged. Como, como se pronuncia? Exchange. 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 Business. See the business cars with with ten people. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Matthew. Okay, very well. Now you are going to answer these questions considering the information in the conversation. Okay. Matthew, we are working at page 23. Okay. Okay. Okay, continue. See you. Thanks. Okay. Contestamos la tres la contestamos. Era did okay. Janet learn to smart contact? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes. She did. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, did. Number four. Did Luis exchange business card with the ten people? Yes, he did. Yes. Pero, no, she, no, porque no. en lo último ah, sí es cierto, sí es cierto, es cierto. porque es Janet la que Janet. Ajá. no, she did no, he no, didn't. He didn't. He didn't. no, he didn't no, he didn't, didn't. didn't. ok ok um, I would like to re uh, repeat the conversation with yours yes, uh, yes. ok uh, with the Maria Isabel. Yes. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10, ten people. <laughs> awesome. 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 Tiene que hacerlo más dramático. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, awesome. It's, it's, it's more than amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's and, amazing. And Elizabeth Johanna practiced. Yes. 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 Okay. Did you switch roles? Yes. yes. Did you answer the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, okay. so you are ready. Yeah? Teacher, we are ready, yeah. yes. When I uh, use the auxiliary D, the very is in the base form. Yes. Okay. okay. Because what gives you the idea that it is in past tense is the modal auxiliary D. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And remember, we use did with all the subject pronouns. There is no special oh. person. Okay. 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 It's an advantage. Yeah. Yeah. It is easier because yeah, people easier. in the present tense get confused with do or does. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So it is a, a little bit easier, but you need to know the verbs in past tense because in affirmative answer, full answer, you don't use the auxiliary, but you use the verb in past tense. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, class, let's return to the main session room. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And let's standardize the answers for the questions.
get ready with the answers to the questions, okay? Okay, class, here we go. Hello, Rafael. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hello. <laughs> okay. In the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, and you're very fast. <laughs> On running, the running. Yeah, running, okay, because the traffic is a chaos Friday. Horrible, horrible, teacher. Yeah. Okay, class, here get, we go. Get out. <laughs> relax, relax. Here, number one. According to the information in the conversation that you have been practicing class, did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did or no, he didn't? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Very well. Number two, did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, she did or no, she didn't? Yes, yes she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Number three, did Janet learn to go from small to smart talk? Yes, 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 she, did. She, did. yes she, did. she did. Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? Yes, no. he did. No, he did not. No, no, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. Yes, he, yes, he did. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, like he didn't. Janet. Oh, oh Janet. Oh, yeah. But here, yeah. this conversation, no, that is another conversation. <laughs> but we are not ready for that conversation, okay? Okay. Estamos listos para la conversación. Es para que despertemos. Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'm going to make a mistake. No, pero hay que diga. Sí, sí fue, pero ustedes no están listos para esta conversación. Yeah, ah, eso. Yes, but you are not ready for this conversation. So, yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people, said Janet. So, Liz, mm -mm. so that is why it is negative. And here, remember that we use yes and you use the, what do we use in there, people? We use the subject pronoun, okay? We use, for example, I, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, yeah? Remember that in negative, we need to say didn't, not didn't, because it doesn't have an E, no tiene letra E, por eso no decimos didn't, 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 yes, I did, no, I didn't. As a short answers to questions about the past tense, or yes, he did, no, he didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Because we use did with all the subject pronouns. Singular or plural or the first person singular. I, no problem, okay? All of them use the same subject pronouns. A homework for tomorrow, for this weekend. I need you to click on these links because here you are going to listen, you are going to have a listening practice with the, for the pronunciations of the past forms of the regular verbs. We have three endings, three pronunciations, ed, d, and t. For example, updated, updated is with d. And we have another one here, learned, Okay, is with D. Let me see. Learned, updated. Okay, uh, updated is this. Learned this, and there is one plosive sound like ask in present, in past tense, asked. Okay, so I need you to listen to this uh, video tomorrow. And also interact, you play this interactive board game to practice asking and answering questions using the simple past tense. Why? Because you need to learn the verbs in past tense because remember, in long answers, you have to use the verb in past tense, okay? 
So this is at page 23. You have to uh, join to, to practice listening, pronunciation, and playing this interactive board game using the verbs in past tense, okay? But now here we go. This is what I was telling you. How to use simple past tense sentences and yes, no questions. Look at the word symbols. Bolts are the one that are darker, like this one. And complete the sentences below. I learned a lot. I updated my networking skills. Updated, learned. I exchanged business cards. I didn't attend the seminar. In the negative, we write the verb in the base form. But Luis didn't exchange business cards. There is no problem. The problem is with the answer is long and affirmative. You have to use the verb in past tense. Did you enjoy the seminar? This is the correct word order for the questions. Did the subject pronoun, the verb in the base form, the complement and question mark at the end. Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her networking skills? And now class, I need you to complete this, okay? This information. The simple past describes, what does it describe? Tell me. Past events. The simple no. past describes past events, okay? But we use the verb in the. It D or D form or in the base form? Yeah. It 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 D. It D. It D or D because it is in past yeah. tense, yeah? For positive sentences, yeah? So the verb must be in past tense. For negative sentences, use don't or didn't? Didn't. 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 Okay. And the it be or the base form of the verb or the base form of the verb in negative is base form the is base, base form. form the base form okay of the verb okay this is with regular verbs ending in ed or d right now the other side about questions. Start a yes no question about the past with do or did. We begin the question in past tense using do or did. Did. Did, did, did okay. teacher. Okay, very well, did. did. Next, we add the subject and the verb followed by the ed form or the base form. What is next? Okay, we have did. And then base form. No, but the no. subject, the subject or the verb. In question. The subject. Subject. Uh -huh. yes. And after the subject, the yes, verb. Please. The verb. Okay. okay, very well. But the verb followed by the ED form or the base form? Base form. The base form. Base that form. We have the base model form. Auxiliary. Excellent. And any other complement phrase. This is for regular verbs and the question mark. Now you are going to put into practice this theory. Okay. Class, you have to complete the questions below using the verbs in parentheses. For example, did you attend to a seminar last month? And the answer should be. Your answer, if yes. I ask you, yes, yes, I did, or no, yes. no, no, he didn't. I didn't. no, I didn't. Okay, yes. depending no, didn't. on because if you write, did he attend to a seminar last month? Yes, he did, no, he didn't. Correct. Now you are going to be transferred to the breakout rooms in order to build these questions and you ask and answer these questions. Okay. And you write the answers. Okay, but here you have to interview two classmates. Take notes of their answers and combine short and long answers. You have to write the answer, short and long answer. Okay. 
las dos alternativas van a escribir. Van a contestar de las dos formas. Forma corta en long extended answer. ¿Ok? Y de forma larga. ¿Está ok? Ok. Ok, okay great. Ok, teacher. And here we go. Let's go to work in the breakout rooms. Go to your groups. Join your groups. <clears throat> okay, Rafa, I'm going to send you the invitation. Uh, okay, in this moment, in this moment, teacher. Okay, great. Go to your groups. Join your groups, please. Freddy Geliseo, go to your group. Natalie, Natalie Espinosa, go to your group. And Miss Catherine, go to your groups, please. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Bye. Okay. Entonces vamos. La pregunta una tiene su respuesta. Nos vamos a la dos. No sé si se logra ver la. la... Sí, la, sí, sí. La, la, la primera pregunta, la respuesta sería yes, I did. did. Yes, yes, I did, así. Yes, I did, pero como vamos a poner no. las dos respuestas, la larga y la corta. Yes, I did. Sí. Sería yes. No, eso está malo. It is sí. wrong. Porque sería Ay, sí. yes, yes, coma, I did. Ah, sorry, teacher. Ah, sí. Ok, period, yes, period, period, punto. And now you write the full answer. I oh. attended a seminar. I attended a seminar last month. Y así todas las demás, ok? Short and long answer. Así te entiendo. I attend, no. I attended. Yeah, that's correct. Excellent. And in a seminar last month. Okay. That's correct. Very well. In parentheses, va a quedar la. Okay, the full. La, la full answer. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, and. Arriba. Sí. La tercera. Y la 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 escritura larga cómo sería. Cómo. Voy a escribirla en forma corta y en forma larga, como dice la dicho. La respuesta, porque así sí. lo pide el libro. Esa es la instrucción. That's the instruction. Ok, interview to classmate. Take notes on their answers. Combine short and long answers. Me escriben la respuesta corta y la respuesta larga. Did you attend to a seminar? Yes, I did. Period. Punto. Yes, coma, I did. Punto. I attended to a seminar last month. That should be the long answer. I attended to a seminar last month, okay? Y así van construyendo respuesta corta y respuesta larga para cada una de ellas. Okay? Teacher, so, por ejemplo, en la, en, la, en la número dos tenemos que pasar el verbo a, a pasado, por ejemplo, en joy. No, no, porque tienen que seguir el ejemplo. Did you enjoy de seminar, en la pregunta no, pero en la respuesta si es afirmativa, larga, sí. Si es negativa, no, porque va a decir, uh, no, I didn't, or no, he didn't enjoy, ¿ya? Okay. Okay. Es okay. a seguir esto, lo que está acá, a practicar esta teoría, ¿sí? Mm, ok. Ok. Did you enjoy the seminar? Pues está fácil. Sí, esa sería. Uh -huh. la, the, the answer long is no, I didn't. Esa es respuesta corta. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. 
by a, oh, no answer. it's short answer for uh, example answer. okay look at this did you attend to a seminar last month affirmative yes comma i i did i did it is i did it is short affirmative negative no i, I didn't. Didn't. didn't okay mm -hmm. now in long affirmative answer yes i attended ah, okay. a seminar last month there in Ver past yes because you are not using the modal auxiliary okay mm -hmm. okay okay the modal auxiliary is did did ajá uh -huh. i attended a seminar escribimos al verbo en pasado porque en la respuesta afirmativa larga no lleva auxiliar ah okay okay pero en la Fíjese bien, pero en la larga negativa, como escribimos, no, coma, no. I didn't attend a seminar last, last month. Como, ah, lleva, como llevamos el auxiliar. Ah, the, the, Entonces, el base form. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is this change yeah it changes okay okay teacher, I'll I'll continue see. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I see. better okay thank you teacher okay. no i didn't Network is a verb, o, o, o como va aquí, teacher, no entiendo esa. La In cinco. which one? Number five. Five, okay, let me see. Ah, uh, uh -huh. did you network in the convention? Uh, that is yes. the verb, did you network in the convention? Que si hiciste mm. contactos, creaste contactos okay. en la convención. Okay, okay. Okay. Network. Okay. Did you network in the convention? Did you exchange business card? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, yes, I did. I did. I learned a lot. I did. I
stitch around that one. Yes, I learn. Learn. No sé cómo hacer la respuesta larga de Did you meet new people? Yes, and you have to use the verb in past tense. Meet is in present. The uh -huh. past tense uh -huh. of the verb meet, met. Okay. Uh -huh. Como dijo el pasado del verbo meet, perdón, no la escuché muy bien. ED, I think it's, it's from ED. Meet? No, 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 no. It is, a, it, is a, it is not a regular verb. The regular verbs end in ED when, uh, okay, in past tense. But you have meet is irregular. So we have okay. meet in present tense. We have yes. met in simple past. And okay. we have mm -hmm. met in past participle. So it is meet, met, met. Okay. Met. It is met. M-E-T. M-E-T. Yeah. Uh, the same as I have written. Así como se los he escrito. Meet, met, met. Okay. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. But if it's negative, no, I didn't meet. I... No. In that case, you have to use the verb in present. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh, exactly. No, I, I didn't meet. Mm -hmm. No, I met. Sería. No, no, I didn't meet. No, yes, it's negative. Uh -huh. I didn't meet. Okay, and you got people. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Did you learn something? Yes, I don't Mm. 
Wilbur, your group. Wilbur, the microphone. Tell me your partners in which. Perdón, group? perdón, perdón. Se estaba con, estaba con Leti, pero se me apagó las computadoras. I'm going to turn you to that group, okay? Uh -huh. Because I didn't remember at the moment, and I was checking that there is somebody else with problems. Okay, let me see. Ah, in group number three. Group number three. Bye-bye. Okay. And now people, tell me. Uh, did you finish the sentences? No, no, teacher. Okay, show me what you have. Muéstrenme lo que tienen, so I can help you. Okay. En la segunda, la the questions is, did you enjoy the seminar? Answer okay. is, yes, I did. Short, este answer short. Um, yes, I did enjoy the seminar. Okay, listen, you have this. You have a short answer. Yes, I did, correct? Yes. That is the short. Now in the long answer, you say, yes, I enjoyed the seminar. In the long answer, you don't use any modal auxiliary. That is why you okay. have to use the verb in past tense. En la respuesta larga, en pasado, no utilizamos auxiliar. Por consiguiente, el verbo tiene que ir en tiempo pasado, ¿sí? Ah, ok. Ahora, si contestamos de forma negativa, esto mismo sería, no, I, didn't okay yeah. I didn't enjoy the seminar do you notice here en la respuesta negativa como llevamos el verbo did ¿verdad? en negativo entonces el verbo lo utilizamos en su forma base ¿sí? Ya no lo escribimos en pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque ya llevamos el did. En este caso sería negativo, didn't. ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? ¿Notan la diferencia? Do you notice sí. the difference? Ok. Solo Pero... en la respuesta larga, en negativo, no se le pondría no al principio. Mm, sí podría ponerlo. Uy, what happened? Acá. No. I didn't enjoy the seminar. Okay? Okay. And that's it. Okay. Ahora sí está más claro. Okay. Gracias. Great. Now continue, please. Entonces, en la tercera, la... Sería yes, exchange it. Uh -huh. I exchange it. Business card. Eh, no, pero ahí no va el, no, no, 
teacher tiene que ir el, el pronombre. Yes. In the long answer. In the long answer. Yes. yes. Sí, porque right. es una respuesta aparte. Si usted dice, yes, yes I did, uh, uh, ahí escribimos un puntito, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. es una cortita aparte. Ahora usted uh -huh. comienza otra oración y dice, yes, yes, yes I see yo, bla, bla, bla. Uh -huh. Or uh -huh. yes, he, bla, bla, bla. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Dependiendo de... de, de... The subject. Ajá, del subject. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Finish class. Okay, I read your lips. Yes. Okay, now we're going to return to the main session room in order to try to uh, standardize the answers. Yes? Okay. Because I think that some okay. people get easily confused with the long answers. But the problem to some of you is that you need to practice more the verbs in past tense. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Evelyn goes to group number two. Okay, so I think that by now, because next level is going to be level four. So it is a little bit more advanced. So you need to practice the verbs in simple present, simple past, and past participle. Okay? Okay. Okay, so let's get back. Let's wait for the other partners to return. Okay, and then we are going to analyze sentence by sentence as a group. We're going to share. In 12 seconds, everybody will be back. They are still working. Okay, class, here we go. Let's analyze sentence by sentence because it is a real new topic to some of you. Okay, the question is, did you attend to a seminar last month? First, we write the auxiliary did for past tense. The subject pronoun, the verb in the base form of the verb, the complement and a question mark, okay? That is for all the subject pronouns. Did he attend to a seminar last month? Did they attend to a seminar last month? Did we attend to a seminar last month? Did you, okay? And in this case, because it is you direct question, we have these potential answers. Yes, I did, affirmative short answer. No, I didn't, a, a negative short answer. But full long answer, yes, comma, I attended a seminar last month, yeah? I attended, the verb must be in past tense because in the affirmative sentences, in past tense, we don't use the auxiliary did. On the contrary, in the negative sentences, 
we use the auxiliary. No, I didn't attend a seminar last month. That is why we use the verb in the base form, okay? Now, people, okay. the question for number two should be? Did you, did you enjoy? Did you enjoy very well the seminar? The seminar. The, the answer? Yes. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I, I did. 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 Affirmative, but negative? No. No, no. no. I didn't. No, no I, didn't. I didn't. Okay, now tell me. Affirmative long answer? Yes. 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 I I enjoyed, I enjoyed, enjoyed, yeah. enjoyed the seminar. The seminar in past tense, the verb, yeah? The seminar. Now this sentence in negative, long negative? No. 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. I didn't. Then enjoy. 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 The seminar. The seminar. Enjoy the okay. verb in base okay. form. Okay, the verb in the base form. Very well. Now, what about number three? New people meet. The question should be? Is, did you meet? Did you meet new people? new people? Again, the answer, short answer. Yes, I did. Negative? Yes. I didn't. Yes. No, I didn't. I, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Now tell me the long answer. Affirmative. Yes, yes. I meet. Yes, I meet. Yes, I meet. No. Yes, I met. I met. I met. Met. I met. Okay. New people. Met new people. M -E -T. Now, now tell me. This, this is this. irregular verb. Yes, meet, met, met. Now tell me the negative full answer. No. 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 I. I didn't meet. No, I didn't meet because the verb goes in the base form. Mm. Ah, no, I didn't okay, okay. Because you have the modal auxiliary. Okay, that is okay. the practice. Excellent. Okay, okay. Now number four, learn. The question should be. <clears throat> Did you, you learn you learn did you learn something? Did you learn something? Affirmative long answer. Yes, I yes. 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 yes, I I learned, I learned, I learned, I learned something. something. Yes, I learned something. Now in negative? No. No, no. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Learn. Learn something. Okay. This mm -hmm. is a regular verb, so you need to exaggerate the pronunciation in past to establish the difference. Learned. Learn. Learn. Okay. Learn. And here I think it should be capital. Yeah. Now, number five, network. The question should be. Did you, did you, did network? you network? In the, in the convention network in the convention. in the convention the long answer should be affirmative yes yes i networked, I networked. in the convention I net work se está subiendo arriba oh, abajo yes 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 okay okay over here i don't know why okay Yes, yes. I work networked networked in the convention. In the convention. convention. And what about the negative? No, no, I, I didn't. didn't. Network. 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 In, in the convention. Work in the convention. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. 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 Okay. Remember, didn't network in the base form, yeah? Because we use did not. Now, okay. uh, the question should be for number six: exchange. Did you change business card? 
did you exchange exchange business cards <clears throat> affirmative long answer i'm asking you only affirmative and negative long answers because you don't have a problem with the short answers yes so the answer affirmative should be yes i i where is it? okay <laughs> I don't know why it moves. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, yes. Yes, I did. No, long answer. Yes, I. Ah, uh, yes. Change. I change. 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 Business. Car. Business card. Business Sister. cards. Okay. Now the long answer. No. 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 I, I didn't. didn't. I didn't. Exchange. 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 Business card. Business, Business card. card. Business cards. And that's it. Okay. So remember that clearly here, uh, let's analyze the answers for number four. Yes, I learned something. Yes, comma, the subject, the verb learned in past tense and the complement. In negative, no, I didn't. The verb goes in the base form base and the complement. Yeah, and that is the rule. This is the practice of the theory that we have in here, okay? In this table. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Now it is your work, your task. You have to write a five-line paragraph about the last business event that you attended. Include details about the event that you learned, what you learned, the people you met, the business cards you exchanged, and so on. Now, many of the, of the events are online. But even so, we exchange information with people when we are in the breakout rooms, yes? So probably this is your your last event because you, you say, ah, I met blah, 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 okay? But right now, um, before we go to the breakout rooms to construct that paragraph, we are going to uh, take the attendance. Andrea Lisbeth, absent, yeah. Carlos Ernesto. Your teacher. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth Johanna. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. Okay, here, thank you. Evelyn. Present. Flor Morena. She says that she has problems with the connectivity. She wrote in the chat. Where is Eliseo? You have been all the week as a listener. Hazel. Present. Hey, thank you. Julio Cesar. Present. Catherine. Present. Maria Isabel. Present. Maria Leticia. Present. Okay. Marvin. Marvin today is as a listener in the chat. He answered. Mateo. Mateo sure. Reyes. Okay. Um, Melquisedec Mateo Rosales Reyes. Do you listen to me? Me escucha, Mateo. Sí, sí. sí. Okay, perfecto. Excelente. Mateo, necesito que hoy se quede conmigo después de la clase, okay? You are going to practice. Did you listen to me? Okay. Matthew, did you listen to me? Did yes. you listen to me? Okay, give me a long answer, Mateo. Did you listen to me? Yes, I. Yes, I okay. listened to you. That is what we're going to practice, okay? And now okay. let's continue. Miguel Angel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Natalie, Natalia. Ah, oh, she's here. As a listener, then Rafael. Present teacher. Thank you. Rudy. Present teacher. Thank you. Virginia, mm, dancing. 
<laughs> Wendy, absent and Wilbur, always Present here. Teacher. Okay, class, before we go to write that paragraph, I need you to activate the cameras and smile. Today is Friday, okay? So a happy right. smile, please. Thank Friday you, is today, teacher. right? Okay. <laughs> a Friday picture to the count of three. Miguel Angel, if you and Mateo, cameras. Elizabeth Johanna, if you have your camera active, I will appreciate that. To the count of three, we say a pupusas or pupusas. whiskey. To the count of three, here we go. Okay. Pupusas. One, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Great. And now I'm going to share it with you via WhatsApp. Okay. Over here, I let me see. Oh, very well. There you are. Now, class, what are we going to do in the breakout rooms right now? ¿Qué vamos a hacer en los salones? Okay. Vamos a escribir un párrafo de cinco líneas acerca de el último evento al que usted asistió. You attended, que tú asististe. Incluya detalles acerca del evento que aprendió, las personas que conoció, las tarjetas que usted intercambió. En este caso podría ser tarjetas o podría ser contact information, ¿ya? Because you, you share the contact information, the, your number, so you can text one another. Because... Now the situation has changed, yes? Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia entre oraciones y párrafos? Vean esto en el ejercicio 8. Esta instrucción está escrita en forma de párrafo porque no es un listado de oraciones. Es decir, termina una oración, punto, y, e inmediatamente continúa la otra, ¿sí? Exchange paragraph with a classmate and write your reactions to it. For example, I'm happy that you enjoyed the convention. You learned a lot. You met new people too. Congratulations. Nice paragraph. Un bonito párrafo. Un párrafito corto. For example, I attended a seminar last week, last month, last year. Okay. It was at, at the Cameron Hotel. I learned a lot about business, about finances, about uh, your field, el área en la que están, ¿verdad? About customer service or whatever. I met new people, conocí nuevas personas también. And that's it. I met nice new people and I exchanged contact. And that's it, okay? Okay, you may take this short paragraph, okay? So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Vamos a generar uno como, como equipo, ¿verdad? Para que no se sientan ahí muy, muy, okay? So here we go. Go to your groups, please. <coughs> okay. Go to your groups. Evelyn, I'm sending you the invitation right now. Okay, go to your groups. Natalie and Catherine, go to your groups, please, if you are so nice. Actually, both of you are in the same group. Okay, Natalie and Catherine, join your group. Thank you, Natalie. Natalia, Stephanie, go to your group. Your classmates are waiting for you. Yeah. Yo, yo tengo rato de no ir a un seminario presencial. O sea, todo ha sido en línea. Sí, conversamos en los chats, pero es como bien, no sé. Pero, <ríe> que todo que ahora, pero es que ahora sí mínimo. es. Ahora sí es todo sí. en línea. Porque todo en línea. WhatsApp, ajá. Entonces hay que actualizar. So, but you <ríe> mentioned, I attended a seminar porque es que asistí a un seminario. ¿Cómo asistí? En línea. ¿Verdad? Pero asistí no. en you Online. Online, I attended a seminar online about, and you mentioned the topic, acerca de qué era el, el tema. About Excel. about Excel, communications, 
uh, <laughs> customer service yes. or new Mer techniques uh, or new methodologies. I don't know. Merchandising. Merchandising. Okay. Merchandising. Okay, very well. Mm -hmm. Or uh, marketing, whatever. Yeah. Okay, let's begin working. Use your imagination. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then I okay. exchange contact information with intercambié información de contacto con cuántas personas, porque no es solamente en físico que vas a intercambiar, ahora es yeah. eh, eh, your WhatsApp, Telegram, yeah. or I don't know, yes? You mm. don't ask, do you have a TikTok? No, you say WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> El martes creo que nos tocaría hacer. Yo voy a escribir la, la por ejemplo, hace, hace dos días asistí a una reunión de la empresa, entonces tendría que ser ahí, asisto. No, no, asist, no. ¿Cuál es la asist. palabra que Attend. No es la misma asistir. No, señor, jamás en la vida. Por eso es asistente, asistant, es de auxiliar, ayudar. En uh -huh. español, no se confunda con el español, no lo transfiera, porque esos dos verbos son diferentes. Vea usted acá, les ponen el ejemplo. Um, here, write. A five line paragraph about the last business event you attended. No le ponen assisted. Attended. Porque attend significa asistir, pero de llegar a un lugar. No, oh, okay. Él dice assist significa ayudar. Pero que no, o sea, sea assist. Yo, te estoy ayudando. Uh -huh. Pero así es con doble S, pues, se supone que es lo mismo que asistir no, o no. No, Sería así. Porque es asistir, pero en el sentido de ayudar a alguien. No es asistir a un lugar. Asistir a un lugar es attend. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Por eso Echa... les escriben acá attend. Ajá, yes. Ok. Este, ¿tiene que ser un evento relacionado con el trabajo o cualquier evento social? No, eh, no evento de trabajo porque estamos hablando de networking, uh -huh. de redes de trabajo, sí, contacto de trabajo. Lleva? Por ejemplo, yo en mi caso, no. que, que fue la cena navideña? Ese no, porque esa es una celebración, usted se iba, e iba a estar ahí con sus compañeros de trabajo que ya los conoce no iba a crear redes de trabajo ni iba a conocer otras personas ¿sí? okay. ese era un evento social en mi caso yo no asisto a ese tipo de eventos así como de trabajo no sé y en línea Desde... tampoco no capacitaciones no, de, mi, no. de parte de mi trabajo no, no recibo nunca tiene eh, mm. No. Very rare, bien, bien extraño. Pero Julio César sí, y Rudy también. Teacher, I, uh, I, for, I <ríe> attended to many mornings. Ok, Rudy, I attended to a seminar last month. Yes, very well. Continue, Rudy. I meet my I boss. Met, I met I my met. boss. My boss and the personal personal to human resource department. The eh, and the personal of human resources department. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very well. So, Rudy and Julio are going to write for you, Miss. Okay because they have the experience and they are going to share with you. Okay, Evelyn? Don't feel discouraged for that. No se sienta desanimada por eso. <laughs> que llega un momento en que sí. Okay, or you use your imagination. O use su imaginación y escriba un párrafo, sí. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. We meet the accountant. 
Mm -hmm. We met, met the accountant, the verb we is met. We met, met. Yeah. We met. M E T, met. Sí, si no es, si no es. El presente. El presente. Mm -hmm. Met, met. Met, met. We met the accountant. Okay. If you. Not just what you learn, sino um, la red de contactos, network. Okay. Los nuevos contactos que hizo. Poner algo de eso. For example, in the conversation, uh, says uh, I exchange. Ten business card. You oh, can yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you can say maybe I, no, I don't know, I extend, I have new, I have five new contacts. I don't know. I got, I got, okay. I got five new contacts. G O T because remember that in that case you have to use the verbs in past tense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or I met five new contacts. Teacher, can I say the last week I went to a coaching seminar. I learned a lot about how to be more empathic with my team. I made, I meet new people and I got seven new contacts. Excellent. The only thing is I met, not I meet, I met. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, so maybe with the yes, with the okay. pronunciation. Okay, that is okay. Short, a short part. No. <laughs> oh, I mean for Miguel and for the partners that it doesn't have to be a long paragraph. Ah, okay. Five okay. Sentences, only five sentences, the most. Okay, don't get okay. in trouble writing a lot. Oh my God, what do I have to write about? Okay. So now we are going to return with the ones that are done because time is over. Yeah. Only okay. after the, the feedback on the class and some of you are going to read your paragraphs. Mateo is going to stay with me. So we're going to go deeper into the past tense. Okay, Mateo. Okay. 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 Let's get back. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, class, now it is the time to listen to some of you who finished the activity because of the time, okay? And remember that you have two homeworks. One is to uh, practice, one is watching the video on the pronunciation of the past tense of the verbs, yeah? At page 23. And the other is to continue working in the learning platform. Llevan dos tareas. La primera es, accesar a los sitios que el manual les proporciona en la página 23. En la primera va, es un video en el cual van a practicar las tres diferentes pronunciaciones para los pasados de los verbos regulares. 
Y en el segundo link es un juego para practicar eh, preguntas y respuestas, ¿verdad? Usando los verbos en pasado simple, porque necesitamos usar esos verbos en pasado simple, ¿ok? Now, it is the time to listen to some volunteers who finish the activity, ¿ok? Who wants to read? Only one. Mi teacher. Ok, Miss, please. De, de los párrafos que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. In the month of February, I attended a training with my co-workers and my supervisor to update the new skills and design of clothes for the summer season. We were training for three hours in the company meeting area. Finished. Congratulations, Miss. You did a great job. Now let's listen to somebody else, maybe Hazel, Berenice, Berniche. Yes. Okay, please. The last week I went to a coaching seminar. I learned a lot about how to be more empathic with my team. I met new people and I got seven new contacts. Excellent. So you can see that you can do it. Do we have another volunteer or that's it? Me. Okay, Miss Letty, please. We happy that enjoyed the seminar. We learned about the new billing system, billing system. We meet, we met the accountant to we share experience with other companies from other, other industry. Excellent, congratulations, very well done. People, you worked very hard today as every single day. I invite you to practice listening to the pronunciation of the verbs, okay? In past tense, there are three different pronunciation for the regular verbs and play that game practicing with the past tense of the verbs, continue working in the platform and see you Monday. Have a great weekend. Only Mateo stays with the teacher. Bye bye. Sleep well. Relax. Bye see bye. Monday. Bye bye. Take care. Please. Tengan cuidado en las calles. Okay. Bye bye. Yes. Take care. Okay. Have a good night. Teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Ya arregla el camión. Bye bye. Teacher. Yes. El link de hacer la actividad no abre. Hola. Parece un error. El segundo link del manual donde hay que está el juego de gramática. Ah, le voy a no compartir abre. entonces vía WhatsApp otros links para que practiquen los verbos en pasado, ¿ok? okay. Thank y you. También los okay. listening. Bye bye. Thank you for telling me. Take care. Take See care. you. Enjoy. Bye teacher. Bye. Bye bye bye. Only Mateo. <laughs> Mateo, you're here. Okay. I'm going to put a change. A chain, so you don't go. Okay, bye bye, Letty. Bye bye, Catherine. Bye bye, Rafa. Okay, Matthew. Letty, bye bye. They are frozen. Bye bye, Letty. Okay, Matthew. Bien, Matthew. Vamos a comenzar con el refuerzo de la estructura, ¿verdad? Hagamos un repaso porque usted ingresó un poquito tarde, ¿sí? Sí, yo como a las nueve ingresé. Ajá, ya. Yeah. Había But, tráfico en San Salvador. Yes, it, it is chaotic on Friday in San Salvador. Bye bye, Rafa. Vaya, entonces le explico. Fíjese que eh, al inicio yo les explicaba a los chicos esto. Se lo voy a explicar en español, ¿verdad? Para que haya una mejor comprensión. Entonces, okay. Matthew, nosotros usualmente utilizamos para estructurar preguntas en presente simple el verbo do, ¿sí? Y Ajá, es también como, das, eh, es muy como bien. El... Vaya, entonces, mire, usamos das con uh, do, con I. Ok, dígame, ¿con quién más usamos do? 
Con los pronombres personales, creo. Sí, pero ¿no? ¿cuáles? Con you, I, you. I, you, y if, if, uh, no. No, we y they. Bye. They. Sí, luego utilizamos das, ¿verdad? Que es el mismo, fíjense bien, es el mismo verbo auxiliar, pero como lo vamos a utilizar con la tercera persona de singular, que es he, she, it. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Entonces, uh -huh. ¿qué es lo que nos dice la regla cuando los verbos que terminan en O se utilizan con tercera persona de singular? Se les agrega ES. Esa es la razón de por qué este verbo, cuando lo usamos con he, she, it, lo utilizamos como DAS. ¿Sí? Este verbo como verbo auxiliar no tiene ningún significado. Solo sirve de ayuda para estructurar la oración. La ¿sí? pregunta. Correcto. Sí. En presente simple, siempre y cuando no tengamos el verbo to be, porque el verbo to be es un modal auxiliar. Y en el caso que en la oración esté el verbo to be, puede ser I, are, or uh, am, are, or is, ¿verdad? Entonces no utilizamos este. Ahora bien, uh -huh. el pasado de este verbo do, que es solito, como verbo simple significa hacer, pero en este caso es el mismo pasado del eh, verbo auxiliar, sería did. Acá es un poquito más fácil. ¿Por qué? Porque there's no special person. No hay ningún pronombre personal que sea diferente. Para todo vamos a utilizar did. It would be I. En pasado. En... Sí, en pasado. Sería I, you. Siempre, siempre en present y, simple. Sí, en pasado simple. He, ah, pa pasado simple. He, it, uh, you, otra vez, ¿verdad? You y they. Entonces, utilizamos este verbo auxiliar did para estructurar oraciones en pasado simple con cualquiera de los pronombres personales, ya sea plural o singular. Aquí no hay ninguna distinción como en el presente, ¿de acuerdo? Y fíjese okay. bien que la estructura es que vamos a utilizar did para construir preguntas en pasado y para responder de forma negativa. Ejemplo. Uh, do you play tenis? Esta es en presente, ¿verdad? La pasamos al verbo en pasado, estructura en pasado. Did uh -huh. you play tenis? ¿Jugaste eh, tenis? Sí, jugaste tenis. Ajá, fíjese que como lleva el auxiliar did, el verbo va en su base, no sufre ningún cambio, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. ahora pasamos esta en pasado en tercera persona. Y escribimos ejemplo. Did he play tenis? Mire, igual. Lo único que cambia es el pronombre personal. Como le dije, no sufre ningún cambio el verbo auxiliar did, porque usamos did para todos los pronombres personales, ¿sí? Entonces, uh -huh. veamos, vamos a contestar esta. Did you play tenis? De forma corta sería yes. I did. Do, did. Yes, I, I did. Uh, sí. In negative, no. No, I, no, I did. Didn't. Negative. Didn't. No, I didn't. Pero, ¿qué sucede cuando construimos las la respuestas de forma larga? En afirmativa. Yes, I played tennis. Sí, yo jugué tenis. Fíjese ahí, como no llevamos que... verbo auxiliar, entonces este verbo va en pasado. Le agregamos, mire, ed. I played tennis. Ahí, ¿sí? ahí es como que estás respondiendo que si sí jugaste. Sí, jugué. Por tenis. eso le agregas el, el, el ed Uy, al, al, al ah, verbo jugar. Es. Sí, pero en afirmativo. Ahora hagamos esta oración, la respuesta en negativa larga. No. I didn't play tennis. Note acá lo siguiente. 
como estamos utilizando el verbo auxiliar en negativo, did not, ¿verdad? Didn't. Entonces el verbo ya no va en pasado, sino que va en su base natural, play. Uh -huh. No, I didn't play tennis. ¿Está correcto? ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? En afirmativo, sí, sí. larga la respuesta, vamos a utilizar el verbo en pasado. En negativo, larga la respuesta, utilizamos el verbo en su base. No va en pasado, ¿por qué? Porque estamos utilizando did not, el verbo auxiliar, ¿sí? Okay. Y lo mismo sí, sucede sí, sí, con entiendo. la tercera persona de singular. Did he play tennis? En la short answer, tell me the short answer, Matthew. Yes. ¿Cuál es Sería... la respuesta? Yes, I did. No, porque estoy preguntando de él, sobre él. Jugo, él jugó tenis. Ah, uh, sería, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. That is the short answer, affirmative. Now tell me the short negative answer. No. Sería, Uy. No. No. El, no, el... He, no, no, he didn't, algo así. No, he didn't. Ok, muy bien. Ahora vamos a construir las respuestas largas. La respuesta larga eh, afirmativa, yes, he. Yes, he, yes, he pl, play tenis, así sería. Ok, very well. And now, full, long answer in negative, no. No, ahí no cambia el verbo, me dijo. No, no, he. No, he. Ajá. Sería no, he didn't play no, tenis, algo así. No, he didn't play tenis. Ok. Y ahí está, ¿verdad? En la negativa, como llevamos didn't, el auxiliar negativo, entonces el verbo va en su forma natural. No, en, en su la forma base. base. Ajá, correcto. ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien. Y recuerde que para el pasado did no hay ninguna restricción, no hay ninguna persona diferente como en el presente que do y das, ¿verdad? No, para todos utilizamos ajá, ajá, did. Sí. Entonces esto como que les facilita did. un poquito más, ¿verdad? Ok, now we are going to practice reading. Vamos a practicar lectura, ¿ok? Here we go. Ok. I read once and later we're going to exchange roles. You listen the first time. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchange business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay. Now you are okay. Luis and I am Janet. You begin. One, two, three. Did, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged uh, business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Come on, man. Awesome. 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 Okay. No suena la, la w, w. La, no, no. Awesome. It is voiceless. Awesome. No se pronuncia. Awesome. Okay, now I am Luis and you are Janet. Yeah, okay, you read the second part. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned it a lot. Tell me more. <clears throat> I hope that my networking skill, I learned to mod from small to, from small to small tall. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I, I exchanged. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Okay, continue, continue, continue. Business card with 10 people. 
Awesome. Awesome. Okay, okay. Awesome. repeat after me. Repeat after me. Updated. I did it. No, no. I. Listen. Updated. I did it. No, no up, I did it. Up. Up. Como pick up. 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 Uh -huh. Updated. Updated. Excellent. Repeat one more time. Updated. 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 Okay, excellent. Talk. Talk. Ah, uh, yo dije tall. Uh -huh. <laughs> the L is not pronounced. You don't pronounce L. Talk. Talk. Talk okay. is, is, is uh, hablar. Yeah. Repeat after me. Oh. Exchanged. 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 Awesome. 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 Very awesome. well. Okay, now let's practice this conversation. Okay. Uh, I am going to be Mrs. State and Mario. You are going to read Mr. Young and Leo. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Okay. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm State. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Day. Let me introduce introduce, introduce the staff. The, introduce uh, the staff. Uh -huh. Staff. This is Mario. He he is he's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you. Leo, what do you do? You are Leo. Uh, and nice, nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen stuff. Great. Uh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is charge of Porsches. Porsches. No. no. Okay. Uh, Matthew, repeat after me. In charge. In charge. Purchases. 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 No, the U is not pronounced. Purchases. Is. Purchases. Purchases. No, la U no suena. Purchases. Purchases. Okay. Excellent. Purchases. Repeat. Purchases. Purchases. Okay. In charge. In charge. In charge. Okay, great. Hey. In charge. Okay. Thank you so very much for giving me your time. Have a good night. Relax. Have a nice weekend. Eh, mire, yo necesito que usted me trabaje en la plataforma. Sí, sí. Este, este fin de semana, fin de voy, semana. A voy a intentar. Trate de hacerlo. Sí, porque. Eh, no, es que no he hecho nada. nada. No me queda mucho tiempo. Pero, ah, sí, me comprometo entonces, este fin de semana. Es de, es de hacerlo el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Para, porque en esta sí. semana dos también tienen que hacer un examencito, ¿sí? Para que no se le acumule mucho, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto. Ah, ok, sí, great. Me ok, great. <risa> Gracias. Have a good Gracias. night. Bye bye. Good Take night. care. Happy weekend. Thanks. Sí. ¿Dónde viene? Aquí salir.